Today we are going to one of my favorite spots of all time, the beautiful Florida Inlet here. And we're gonna be trying to catch some amazing fish at this spot. Last time I came here, I used a small fish trap and we caught an insane chain link eel, such a small one. He's in my tank right now, absolutely thriving. I love that eel, that was one of my favorite catches on this channel. Now we come here a lot because this is like a hub for all kinds of fish. Big tarpon, snook. I've flown the drone up so many times. I've seen sharks, giant manta rays that swim around. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've seen a bunch of snook hanging by the rocks, some big barracudas, and tons of other sea creatures, beautiful sea creatures that swim all through this inlet, including a ton of really colorful and cool fish. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna drop another awesome fish trap, the same one we used last time because it proved to work effectively. And I'm gonna show you guys a brand new way that I'm gonna be catching some ridiculously cool aquarium fish with multiple hooks catch five at a time and it's a proven working strategy now let's get right into it but let me remind you about the cut the plastic restocks if you guys want another cut the plastic shirt if you haven't got one already they were sold out for like three or four weeks now they are back the cut the plastic shirts are back and we got brand new hats on the site go check them out and use code fish guy Chris if you want to save 10% off your order fish guy Chris use the code it's gonna be worth it let's get into the video guys I'm hyped for today now it is the perfect tide to put a fish trap in all these rocks here there could be eels there could be small fish big fish you never know what's in these rocks and I like putting it right by this big rock right underneath me because I always catch tons of aquarium fish swimming underneath and around this big rock because there's a big cave underneath it so this is exactly where I'm gonna put it so I gotta climb down these rocks set the trap I set it with shrimp this time we're going to shrimp and I got a special surprise I'm gonna salt bay this thing with fish pellets with just regular fish pellets just to get the all the fish attracted to the fish trap we're gonna leave that here while we're catching fish and then at the end we're gonna pull this thing while it's still in the rocks and hopefully we get something good out of this one let's leave this guy here and see what we can catch now guys I'm changing up the chum we're going with pellets I'm gonna see how many fish come when I just toss some of these in there should be some that will come up to the surface and start eating but we gotta we gotta get them to us also I'm changing up the bait I got four or five hooks on this line with little tiny, tiny hooks. Five pieces of shrimp, five hooks, more chances to catch some cool fish. Let's drop this down and see if I can get anything right away. The reason I'm doing this is because there's more chances to catch cooler fish besides Sergeant Majors. It'll weed them out and hopefully we can get something cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it a little bit deep, okay? One, one out of five, one out of five. I had more, but I couldn't take advantage of it. One out of five. First catch is a little yellow striped grunt, but we can get if we can get past these guys, we can get cool stuff. Let's see what else we can catch. I'm gonna rebate the five hooks. It doesn't hurt to catch a little yellow striped grunt. We don't want you today, and we're gonna send you back. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? They're gonna go nuts on that. Look at all those fish right there. Look at all those. There's hundreds, absolutely hundreds of fish. So we want to weed out the sergeant baiters. So get those going. But I do see a big pair of fish in the back. What do I got? What do I got? I got two fish. Two fish is better than one. Two fish is better than one. Really cool colors on this guy. Bright and blue, bright blue and yellow on this guy. Really, really cool fish. Really, really cool fish. Let's let him go. Now the first fish I caught is just a classic Sergeant Major here. I love catching these guys because pots and pans love to smoke these guys. I posted I posted a short on my second channel, Fish Guy 2. If you guys wanna go subscribe, go subscribe. I posted a short that has over 200,000 views of pots absolutely smoking a Sergeant Major. It was the coolest video ever. I love filming those kinds of things. Pots loves them. He loves when we stock to the pond with a bunch of Sergeant Majors. Look at the teeth on this guy. Look at the teeth on him. That's like a piranha. You see the teeth on him? This guy is, oh, I got, I got fucking hot sauce on. I got hot sauce on bad. I got hot sauce on bad. Guy is pretty nasty. This is like a chub, just a regular chub or spot here. And he just hot sauce all over me. That's pretty gross, but we don't want him. We're sending him back. Another little yellow striper here. Very cool. It just looks like a little grunt here. He doesn't have any blue on him, so it's a different kind. He's got a, a yellow stripe, which is always cool to catch, but he's got barely any blue on him. But we definitely don't want him because he's not as pretty, so we let him go. Now, I just went back to the uh, fish trap to go get some more bait, and there was so many fish around the trap. We're probably going to have to pull that very soon. There's hundreds of fish right around the trap. It's insane. Now, guys, I owe big bluehead wrasse here, and you guys know that's like that's like a dime a dozen. There's so many sergeant majors here that getting the bluehead wrasse is going to be super super rare, but I will hunt to the death till I catch one of these guys, dude. Do not worry. I might have to fish all day, all night 
to catch one of the bluehead wrasse. I am itching to catch one of those. Might have to catch one only in a fish trap. Another SM. Potts would be very, very upset that I'm letting these guys go because he absolutely loves them. He loves to eat these guys. Like, it's his favorite meal, probably. He's going to be very upset with me that I'm letting them go, but it's okay. We already stocked the pond with a bunch, with a bunch of these guys recently, so he's got plenty of meals to choose from. And this guy's actually less pretty than the first one. The first one was really, really blue. This guy's got some green on his face, but not as pretty as the last one. So we're definitely not feeling bad about letting him go. See you, buddy. This is the third Sergeant Major we've caught, guys. Really, really small, pretty freaking cute. But the reason why I'm only catching Sergeant Majors is because all four of my hooks broke except one more hook. So the trick is to have five hooks so you get rid of the Sergeant Majors and then something cool will eat like the fifth, fourth or fifth hook. Since I, they, since most of my hooks broke off, I think we're just gonna have to pull the pull the fish trap because all we're gonna catch is these little dudes if I only have one hook. Aquarium store sell these for like 20 bucks, easy. See you, bud. Brooke, I think we got fish in here. I'm gonna pull it quick. Oh, big crab, big crab just fell off of it. Oh, we have a fish, we have a fish. Get to the bucket. Get the bucket. This is a nice fish. I don't think, is this a wrasse? I think it's a parrot. I think it's a parrot or a wrasse. Oh my God, this is the first time we've caught it. Oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. I want to get him in a bucket ASAP so we don't hurt him. This thing is so pretty. This is a baby parrot fish. Oh my God, it's a baby parrot. It's a baby parrot. It's the first time we've caught it. Dude, this fish trap works here. Look at that guy. Look at this pretty goat. This dude is insane. I always see big ones. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh, I think we got to get out of here. I want to put him in a pond ASAP, guys. This trap works magic dude this trap works magic now guys i always see giant parrot fish here they're always swimming around the rocks they're so hard to get and i think the pellets is what enticed him in because they're literally vegetarians they eat, they eat algae they hang around the rocks eat stuff on the rocks and we can never catch them on shrimp on hook and line ever i've seen people catch them on seaweed and stuff but i think the pellets are key I think we might have to start using the pellets more. This is an insane fish. Let's get back to the house because I want to get this guy in a pond very quick. The colors on this guy is incredible. The blue is insane. Hopefully he gets more deep blue because I know they get really, really blue and their colors are super beautiful. I think he's going to be perfect maybe for the shark tank to have a little color swimming around. I think that would be perfect addition to the pond. Let's go. Guys, thank God I got out of there really quick. I knew, there it is, big time thunder. I knew there was a storm coming, it is pouring. It is absolutely dumping, so I knew I had to get up early, go to my spot early, fish for a little bit, set a fish trap, and get out of there. Because we're gonna be putting an awesome fish in the new pond that we got today, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked about that guy. That's my first time ever catching him because they're so elusive, those parrotfish, they're so elusive. But I have to be careful about showing you the this pond right here because there's a very special fish in there that you guys haven't seen yet, so you have to stay tuned on this channel. Make sure your notification bell is on and the Barb's Buzzin' channel because he is extremely special. We've never gotten this fish before, especially this size. He's gorgeous. We finally pulled the trigger on him, very expensive, but he's doing really, really well in here. So I gotta be careful that you don't get any sneak peeks of this guy. Also, we're gonna need an awesome name in the comments, so drop them down below. For our new fish that we're getting today, I did name the sharks. Shout out to Hank for the comment. The shark's name, Chip and Dale, it's a great name. They go together and they're gonna be easy to remember, but the little two baby sharks, we can always keep Chip and Dale. Wow, it is pouring and thundering and lightning out here. Chip and Dale are the names for the brand new sharks, the two baby sharks in the pond. They're doing awesome in here. The little one, the small one that we got that just hatched, the newborn, a lot of the sharks don't make it right when they hatch, but he's doing really well. I fed him multiple times. He's eating shrimp right from the feeding stick. Absolutely gorgeous shark and a very, very cool addition. Now let's get our brand new fish in the pond. We're gonna need some epic names. All right, guys, let's get our brand new fish in the pond. He is so cool. I gotta make sure I do not get the other fish in the pond. It's gonna be kind of hard, but I don't wanna give you guys, I don't wanna spoil you guys for the surprise fish in next week's video. So he's very gentle. He's very gentle. He's not freaking out that much. So let's put him in and see how he does in here, maybe. Man, guys, he just looks insanely cool in this tank. I'm trying just to get him because there's a couple other fish in here I don't, do not want to show you yet, but he looks insane. Those colors are so bright. He's going to swim around the tank like crazy. He's going to look so good in here. I may end up moving him to my tank because he's so pretty. I don't want him. I don't want his beauty to be wasted in the saltwater pond, but he looks super good in here. I'm still deciding if I should move him to my tank. You guys let me know in the comments if I should keep him in the pond or if I should move him. There's a good chance I'm just going to put him in the tank but because it's raining i don't want to get my camera wet so i gotta film this pretty quickly so there you have it guys drop the names in the comments awesome day out there using the fish trap remember to stay updated with your notification bell on if you want to see that brand new fish we got he is gonna blow your minds super cool fish thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one peace